Welcome to our comparison series where we're talking about the Uni, the Ghazni, and the Fontana, comparing them. This week we're talking about the assembly, uh, starting off with the Uni in very Chinese fashion. Everything is packaged very well in a lot of little boxes with a lot of styrofoam. Uh, you do need specialized tools um, and probably a couple hands to be able to help you assemble all this stuff. It's very Ikea-esque. If you're wanting a burner that's separate, you have to disassemble then reassemble. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to put it all together following the instructions. Uh, but it did still feel fairly flimsy. Um, now, moving on to the Gosney. The Gosney is pretty much ready to go. It comes with some nifty straps to be able to lift it out of the box, but then they're pretty much permanently affixed there. Uh, you do need to install the components like the ash receptacle, the pucks to cover uh, various uh, holes, depending on if you're using it for wood or for gas, and the chimney and the chimney cap, and then the hose that plugs into the back. Uh, it does not come with a door, which is weird. You have to purchase that separately. Uh, comparing that to the Fontana Maestro 60, it does come with a door. It comes with a chimney, the chimney cap. It comes with the stones that are packaged separately, and they are replaceable down the road. Um, so as you see, when you open up the box, you essentially take out the boxes that have the stones. You open those up. You place them inside. You uh, put the chimney, the chimney cap on, the door in place, the hose in the back that has the regulator built in, and you're ready to go.